In this video, we're going to introduce the data that we're going to be working with when talking about Poisson regression or log linear regression. I've chose these two data sets to demonstrate concepts with, as one of the data sets is aggregated and involves calculating rates as the outcome. The other data set is recorded on the individual level and uses a count outcome. So the first data set is the British doctor's data. Now this data is aggregated and has an outcome that are the rates. This data set is a prospective cohort. In 1951, male doctors were given a questionnaire. Amongst other things, they recorded their age as well as their smoking status. Ten years later, they followed up and recorded the number of deaths by lung cancer. If you do a web search on British doctors' data, you'll find a description of this data. It's a fairly well-known data set, and you can see I've loaded up a summary here. So this was one of the first studies to provide evidence of a link between smoking and lung cancer. You can read a little bit more about the data set if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead for now and read this data into R. So I've already got a command queued up to load that, so I'm going to import it into an object called dat, and we can take a look at the data here. And we can see for the age variable, people have been placed into age categories, age category A being 35 to 44 years old, age category B 45 to 54, C 55 to 64, D 65 to 74, and E 75 plus. They've also recorded if the individual smokes, yes or no. Now because lung cancer is an event that can only occur once, we have to aggregate people into groups. So we can see the first row of the data is this group of age category A, the youngest group of non-smokers. Within that group, there were two lung cancer deaths, and there were 18,790 person years contributed to that group. The second row are people in age category B, non-smokers. There were 12 lung cancer deaths and 10,673 person years and so on. So working with this data set is going to help us learn about how we can analyze data that's been aggregated. Let's go back and look at the second data set we're working with. Now the second data set that we're going to work with I'm calling the medical expenditures data and this comes from the National Medical Expenditures Survey data which is from the US and this data set is the 2007 data although if you go online you can get your hands on more recent versions. Now this data is recorded on the individual level and has an outcome that are counts. So amongst other things, the main outcome that we're going to look at is looking at the number of visits to a physician in a year. Since people can go more than once, we can record that data on an individual level. And since we've followed everyone for exactly one year, we can look at the counts, the number of visits in a year. So let me read this data into R. And let's take a look at the variable names. You can see there's a lot of variables there. We're not going to work with all of them, and I'll give you a quick explanation of what each of these variables is. So the first, OFP, that's going to be the outcome variable we work with, and that's the number of visits to a physician in one year. There's also OFNP, the number of non-physician visits, OPP, the number of physician hospital outpatient visits, and OPNP, the number of non-physician hospital outpatient visits. So all those are potential outcome variables. We're going to work with OFP. For the X variables, there's EMR, the number of emergency room visits, HOSP, the number of hospital stays. Then there's a variable self-perceived health status. The variable is called health in the data set. It has average as the reference, and there's an indicator if the health is perceived to be excellent or poor. If these two take on a value of zero, then the health is average. There's also a variable numcron, which is the number of chronic conditions the individual has. ADL diff, that is an indicator if the person has a condition that limits activities in their daily life. There's a variable region, and we have indicators if they're in the northeast, midwest, or west. We have the age recorded, and this is the age in years divided by 10. There's a race variable that takes on a value of 1 if the individual is categorized as black. A sex variable, which has an indicator of male, which equals one if the individual is male, female being the reference, an indicator if the individual is married, not married being the reference, the number of years of schooling or education, a variable fam inc for family income, and then three more indicator variables, an indicator if the individual is employed, an indicator that takes on one if the individual has private health insurance, and an indicator that takes on a value one if the person is covered by Medicaid. 
So these are the two data sets that we're going to get to exploring as we learn about Poisson regression. We're going to first begin with the medical expenditures data, looking at analyzing data measured on the individual level and counts as the outcome. And then we'll look at how we can work with aggregated data.